the number one rule for me in life since Spink started working for me. Do more what's working. Hey everyone, this is Nazar Akil from Max Pro. Hi, I'm Linda. And I'm Paul. And we're Love and Pebbles. Hi, this is Lopa Vandermersch from Rasa. Oh, you're listening. And you're listening. And you are listening to, to the Harm Show. Show. Welcome to the Ecom Show, presented by Blue Tusker, the number one place to hear the inside scoop from other e-commerce experts, where they share their secrets on how they scaled their business and are now living the dream. Now, here is your host, Andrew Mass. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Ecom Show. I'm your host, Andrew Mass, and today I am joined by Anatoly Lubinsky of Golden Stream Media. Anatoly, how are you doing? You ready for a good show? Hey, Andrew. Yes, I'm really excited for that and I'm doing great. What about you? How's your day so far? It's going great. Super excited to have you on the show. This is going to be a good one. I know that obviously you're an e-commerce seller yourself and you help other e-commerce sellers become themselves and start to grow from there. So let's get into that. So I'm going to obviously give a minute here. I would love for you to kind of tell everyone a little bit about your background, more about um, you know what it is you do, what Golden Tree Media does, and we'll get into that. Okay. Yeah, perfect. I, uh, so I would like just to start from general, like where I have been and when uh, my journey started. So it was 2017. Uh, back in 2017, I used to work in Dubai and my wife became pregnant. We were like kind of broke, uh, renting uh, this Filipino family some small room. And my wife like shocked me that uh, we are pregnant and I decided to promise myself that my kid will come in the world with the completely different financial situation which I was growing out and uh, that was the really kind of things which is, has been changed completely my mind completely my actions in my life and uh, from that moment I brought my wife to Ukraine and uh, like this story is super long but in general uh, it has been the completely changed moment for me. I brought her to Ukraine, stay in Dubai in the apartments with other seven people, like uh, rented like small bed, uh, bed space and start studying online opportunities. I didn't know about e-commerce, anything about Facebook advertising, nothing. It just came to me, the ebook of one guy uh, in e-commerce who promised as always uh, guru promising <laughs> that in, in hundred bucks you are able to start your e-commerce business first of all i was like what is does it mean e-commerce and secondly what does it mean advertising on the facebook <laughs> like for me it was I, I was just you know just a simple user of the facebook as a social media platform nothing else and mm-hmm. when i read that book it was friday 17 or 15 of august not sure rem- don't remember exactly 2017 and it was a gun moment 180 pages of the book like in one day in one shot i was like shocked that this is what i want to do in my life i don't know how i have no clue how i will do that but i will make it happen and i, I wasn't <laughs> believing about 100 bucks believe me i i was i'm not that person who is like gonna be believing in that kind of stuff but i was impressed about the opportunities that this is mm-hmm. exist and yeah because of uh, looking for different opportunities i decided to try and make it work so i start uh, studying the industry create my first store and in the same time i used to work on the two different jobs like office job in the morning and evenings it was like a restaurant as a supervisor after that i get another two extra works on the weekend on the nightclubs when i'm when i'm free in the restaurants and I was doing so many part times just to feel as much as possible cash, because first of all, I need to save something. Secondly, uh, because because baby is coming, and secondly, because I start <laughs> spending money on Facebook. And the thing is, came so hard that I spent everything what I had, plus jump into the crypto, and in the crypto 2017, end of 2017, oh, yeah. it was a hype. I lost everything what I put there, <laughs> plus. <laughs> uh, Facebook advertising wasn't working for me and it was the one of the biggest things which is I was I understand that 99% of the people are quitting because of the first 200 bucks is not converting first 200 bucks is that was spent and not, nothing mm-hmm. working and they like it doesn't work it's not for me or whatever for, for me it was opposite I spent thousands and thousands in the four months I spent over six thousand dollars 
and I spent uh, on crypto over 3000 It was all, more than my savings because I even borrowed the money. I paid for some extra services where I got scammed because people take the money and never come back to me. Like there yeah. was different things which has made me broke in uh, financially, but so strong uh, mentally because I said to myself, I don't care. I will keep going and I will make it happen. There is no other solution, especially my baby at that moment already. Uh, has been uh, born it was october and uh, that moment particularly that moment i was like launching my first store end of september start spending money nothing is working pay for guy who disappeared invest in crypto and february i'll no january lost everything what i had borrowed the money lost that on facebook and really like this is how my story began and uh, that was horrible it was one of the <laughs> hardest year of my in my life with the total five jobs which is one full-time four different part-times even video photo shootings in dubai uh on the weekends and uh, i was just whatever i'm making throwing in facebook and the one thing i never asked question to myself what i'm doing wrong you know i was just wasting wasting and wasting and wasting I'm calling that wasting because I know the reason. Uh, but in general, when you spend on Facebook money, it's not a wasting. You're testing. You are trying to understand yeah. what's working. So you're investing. But that moment, I exactly was wasting because I never asked to myself what I'm doing wrong. And I'm using all the strategies from YouTube in the same uh, in the same time. And obviously, mess up the algorithms, mess up the performance, mess up everything. And every 15 minutes, I was changing something in the campaigns. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, uh, like uh, new B mistakes, but everything has been changed in the end of January. When I start, I decide to give a shot for last money. What I had, I had a couple of hundreds for the advertising around close to 1000 and, uh, uh like I, I need someone to help. And I decided to give a last shot and promise to one guy who was doing like group coaching, and in first 15 days, $8,000 in sales. And this is where everything has been started. Uh, it, on the moment when I lost on crypto, I lost everything. And last budget I just put in and I found out, oh my God, I didn't follow KPIs. I didn't understand the columns in Facebook. <laughs> I, I, I touched every 15 minutes when I have to leave it for 24 hours, you know, <laughs> and a lot, a lot of other things. And I finally started to educate myself in the advertising in the right way. And that's just where results began, but in the same time, fails as well. <laughs> but yeah. it's another thing. It's just like I described to you the beginning. And the only one thing which is helps me to make the difference and win, well, to compare to other 99% of people who quitting, is just never give up. And I knew that there is no other way or moving forward or nothing. Like yeah. this is was the the only thing how how I made that work. Yeah, that's that is an impressive story. So you definitely learned by doing. Um, you know, it's it sucks because sometimes you know you got to do that to learn. But obviously, you came out on the other end of it, so it was obviously worth it in the end. What is it you were actually selling back then? Oh, great question. Uh, actually, that product was from the beginning of my store from end of September when I created. Uh, first of all, I had a niche store. It's a cat niche. I decided that it's a great niche to start with because it's like a broad <laughs> interest. Everyone uh, loves cats. But that product was always there. Actually, it was attracting my people, but I didn't know how to read analytics in Shopify. People was always mm -hmm. going to the page of this product. People always was adding to cart and I even didn't follow that. I mean, but never purchased. And uh, when I start with the mentor, he pointing out to me, listen, you have a winner most probably. Let's test it out. And that was a T-shirt uh, with the pocket like this. And when you're removing the pocket down, uh, the here it was some pretty kitty inside. When you're removing the pocket, it's showing the middle middle finger. <laughs> yes, yeah, so exactly. This is the reaction. What was the impression nice. and engagement under the post? People will love it. And the winning audience became uh, teachers, 45 plus women. And ladies even were buying in the comments like, hey, let's buy it. They were tagging four of the, of the friends and five people at the same time were taking orders on different sizes, different colors. Let's buy for the week and let's make it fun. And this is actually was showing to me what does it mean uh, sales by impressions, sales uh, on the emotions, you know. 
and I understand that subject as well because of the com read the comments. It's one of the best things if you want to understand about your products. I read the comments, and that was awesome. We made fifteen in fifteen days eight k, and after that, Facebook decide to change the policy, and middle finger is not allowed anymore in the Facebook, <laughs> <laughs> and we got banned. But we were taking like whole journey on fails but yeah this is was the first winning product uh which i found and it was a really awesome experience so you mentioned that you know obviously you figured it out it went out uh finally like you know started to see sales going what it what was essentially the secret sauce that was able to kind of get you over that hump because i know obviously this store and i believe you actually had um a couple other stores that you ended up surpassing seven figures annually which means you definitely figured out the secret sauce because a lot of people that's a struggle just to get over that first seven figures, let alone do it a few times. So what is it that you see is, has been that, that real thing that has helped you kind of scale these stores? So for example, with the cat store, I moved forward till summer. So it was February, 2018. And uh, I moved out to this to summer, but I found out one thing that sa- I don't want to sell t-shirts. So first of all, one happens. I, I tried to overtake him with making uh, animations and all the things. It didn't work. We st- mm-hmm. In summer, we found out another approach, which is start uh, overtaking the policy. And we made another couple of K. But it was a lot of, during the spring, it was testing phase of the different store with the watches, with the wallets, because of this kind of bonds. And nothing really was working that well. Here and there, a couple of K, uh, nothing profitable. But I found out the February, which is, it is exist. It's working. So let's move on. And that's uh, the, first of all, the secret sauce store uh, sauce is for sure. You have to test a lot of angles, a lot of things. I know everyone are talking about that, but uh, the number one thing is really understand your audience. For example, about the cat store, I made it maximum niche store. So I was analyzing the successful stores of the cat niche. And I texted, I remember, to several uh, uh, rescue centers for the cats and dogs. Pet rescue center and said, listen, guys, I'm going to be, I'm selling the stuff. I'm going to be just donate like 5% of the profit to, to you. Can I just mention your name on my website? And nobody was responding except two guys. One asked me, uh, let's jump on the call from New York. And he said, it's cost $8,000 for me. It was like, <laughs> what am I in a dropshipper? Yes, and no, I understand. Thank you so much. Like, I will move on. And another one, like, was saying, Yeah, no problem. Like, uh, it was a shelter from Canada, if I'm not mistaken. And please do it. And I was honest. I, I, I said, I will be seriously donated. And I was donating, but it was small, like 20, 30 bucks. Like, uh, it depends on the sales. So, and uh, I was just like mentioned on my store. The partnership, uh, not even partnership. We are from every single sale. We are donating for these pets, uh, pet rescue center. What I don't even remember the per, per, pets. So, uh, anyway, it was pe- uh, <laughs> big big pet rescue center, which is I put their logo. I I made some nice text about our co- cooperation and that every five person of our sales is going to them. Plus, in every single ad copy, at the end, this sentence has been exist that we are cooperating with uh, and donating with the rescue center. This is as well, I believe, was helpful for me at that moment. And when we started in other stores, I was doing similar approaches with other stores. Even if it's not related to the pets, we will find out some other uh, industries where we can donate and inform people about that. So it is as well like uh, for right audience, especially when you have already a winning angle and winning product, it would be valuable that they are doing the good thing when they're buying from you. So it was another thing what what gives us big potential. But by end of summer, I was talking during the summer with one guy from United States. And I've been in the Dubai at that moment and moved back to Ukraine. And he was suffering. Like he had the products which is were selling well, but one agency just left him. And he said, I don't know what to do. Uh, we have because they had several problems because of the product quality and the agency decided instead to solve the problems they just decided to to leave him and he said i don't know what to do man come on like and i was start talking to him when he was doing 300k a month and we were just like uh, 
quite chatting and the secret sauce here is guys you have to network with people in the industry which you are trying to succeed just talk to them don't ask for anything just speak with them because we became kind of buddies kind of friends and first time in our cooperation or our conversation after three months we i just said listen let's jump on the call because he knew that i have a knowledge because that moment i was super active on facebook and was posting my uh, fails my results screenshots and back in 2018 it was like super hot thing like posting <laughs> in the groups and i was posting like guys was uh, commenting like and this is how he found out about me and we were talking and i said let's jump on the call i'll see what kind of problem you have and let's see if we can uh, so uh, if we can uh, manage that together and i didn't offer him anything i just said said i will look, look for you and give you some advices and actually long story short by end of september 2018 we decided to become partners because he found out i know the facebook and he loves to manage the store i hate manage the store i love doing the ads <laughs> it was perfect you know combination and yeah. october we started end of october we ended with first ever in our life in my life for him it wasn't fifty thousand dollars in the revenue uh with the profitability it wasn't that big it was around 15 percent profitability but that Same. was the yeah but that yeah. was really cool experience and it was shoes uh classic oxford shoes his agency wow. left him because of the quality problems so i came and we tried to solve those problems together and for me it was mm -hmm. interesting experience and uh, for him it was just like he has no clue what to do so we just combine all the things together and become from 20 80 percent partnership in a half year it became 50 50. and we became officially partners we opened the llc together like we done all the things what it needed so october 50k december 150 and uh, but on march 2019 we made it in 13 days 250 and facebook find out what is facebook score <laughs> <In other video. laughs> yeah so wow. whole journey on the fails yeah wow so you i mean I, I really admire that you uh you got your hands dirty and that's how you figured out how to do all this stuff so it's that's that is definitely i admire that that's the way to do it that's the way to learn through experience mm -hmm. You can read all the books in the world and watch all the courses and everything. And it's never, you never really know until you get in there and figure out all the nuances. Uh, but so let's flash forward. So now obviously you have Golden Street Media, you've started to build this out. You're essentially taking what you've learned and starting to implement it for other e-commerce sellers. So why don't you tell me a little bit about what that is? Yeah, sure. So it was exactly 2019 uh, when we done in March uh, these results, uh, 250, and we got screwed because of the score. By that time, I had a couple of the people who asked me, because I was active on Facebook groups, uh, asked mm -hmm. me, can you please teach me? Can you mentor me? For me, it was a surprise because I never tried to, like, to push my service, so I didn't have service, we had the stores. And I said, okay, why not? For me, it was interesting. If it would be working, what's working for me, for others people. And I start doing mentorship for a couple of people and it starts working. I like, whoa, awesome. Like I have like the strategy, which is I'm using and it's working. And uh, yeah, by that time we start figuring out how to solve the problems with uh, with our store. We were managing to edit another products, to change the page, change the domains, all the things regarding the score. And I decided while we are doing that, it's not super active at the moment. Uh, people are continue asking me for mentorship, so I start doing mentorship actively, and I even couldn't like find out how how I already have 35 active uh, students one on one with me, not a group coaching one-on-one -on -one. 30 minutes twice a week every single person was jumping one-on-one -on -one with me where i wasn't his ad account i had access to every single student ad accounts in sunday nights i was texting them audio messages like hey you have to do this 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 and that and because of this approach a great customer service it, because it's me like i am I, i've been there i know what yeah. i want to see if i would be go back in time i want someone next to me like me I mean, who gonna be on Sundays? Text me, hey man, you didn't duplicate the campaign when I tell you why. You know this kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I was pushing, and who was following? Really, uh, we made in a year around two millions in the students' results. And during that wow. moment, we figure it out with the, our stores, with the partner. We create another store. We continue shoe store, and we create another store for health niche. End of 2019. 
and we found out winner as a belt for the for the back which is just you press in the air uh, everyone already knows this product before it was uh, new we, we were one of the first people who found it it wasn't famous on the aliexpress so this is my strategy in product research in general it's not looking for the famous product look on outstanding products which is nobody selling but it looks attractive and you find out the angles how to introduce the audience and that usually gives you higher ROS on during the testing phase and scalability on the much stable level and then especially back in 2019 without ios and all the stuff that is going on now yeah. it was really great and we just find, took and the angle was simple we just copy paste the text from aliexpress which is sentence was perfectly written i just took the text and put on that copy and the video as well <laughs> from aliexpress it was incredible 5.5 ros and average like we made uh, 3. that's amazing 3. Yeah, 330 or something like in the in the sales in the uh, in total like over half million on that product uh, before COVID and all that things like it was in the same time with the students and by November end of this that year one of my mentor who are st- I'm still working with me I mean as a, my life mentor right now before it was about Facebook strategies about everything now it's about real estate investments now it's about different things. And uh, like the, I got uh, from that mentor plug for one million in Shopify store in 2019, and he said to me, "Listen, like with uh, mentorship, you won't be able to scale." And I was exhausted. Store yeah. uh, managing the business, mentorship is one on one, not group coaching once in a week, six times, six days in a week, and plus at night I'm sending audio messages to every single student. Like, why you don't, mm-hmm. haven't done this or something like that? <laughs> uh, uh, I, I was doing like customer service for me was the number one thing. And after that, uh, he said, open the agency. I said, I don't really want it. Open the agency. He pushed me. <laughs> and I took a couple of people who will want to work with me. Actually, why is the, the conversation started? Because pe- I said, listen, so many of my students ask me to manage stores for them. I said, mm-hmm. I don't really like why they're asking me that. He said, do it. I like, mm, he's do it. Like, okay, I took a couple of people. Uh, I, I found out one of my friends from Ukraine who hungry and he ready to learn. I said, listen, would you like to be with me 365 uh, days in a, in a year where I'm going to be teaching you media buying and you're going to be running stores together with me so I will be able to focus on my business? He said, let's do it. So and for almost how, like from it was sorry, uh, agency staff first two clients started end of 2018. And for one year with this media buyer, plus all this, my business things and mentorship, we were managing two or three customers uh, as an agency. And one of them, we found the winner. And as for now, it's already over 6.5 million in, in sales. So the, the girl was really like struggling for three years alone, jumping to us, stay with us over seven months with up and downs, not really great results because there was... A problems to find the right angle for her pod store and after we found the winner a winning angle on october 2019 first million in in four months and after that we just like scaled scale it and it's for now it's 6.5 obviously there was a lot of under underwater stones uh because of ios because of covid because of uh everything <laughs> so but yeah we overtake yeah. that and and golden stream media as the agency get started in 25th of March 2020 during COVID because mentorship it wasn't really that moment it wasn't really making sense because people like quitting the job uh, uh, losing the jobs and they were like not ready for the mentorship plus China has been closed and we I found out like suppliers from US from Europe and uh, my mentor said to me listen move to the agency 100% and because I was exhausted with the uh, mentorship, I was super exhausted. And he said, agency is where to go. And we decided to take a couple of students again, more. I mean, added more people there. I hire a couple of students as a media buyers, best students who want to work. They don't want to be entrepreneurs. You know, not everyone wants to be entrepreneurs. Some ones want just love media buying. And I said, listen, would you like to join? And we'll, I will coach you for free. And you're going to be making money with me. Okay, mm-hmm. and uh, this is where story started with the Golden Stream Media two years ago officially. I mean, 
and we start scaling like in the one first months we like scaled maybe 12 x or something like that and after that yeah. we move forward with the with okay. the bigger numbers what um who's like the ideal person that comes to you is it someone who's looking to start their first e-commerce business or are you kind of now working with especially from the agency side are you working with people that are a little more established and you have to kind of help them get to the next level what's the the preference there so it's actually an amazing question because uh this is one thing which is as well i'm, I'm putting a lot of attention right now uh we doing what like the number one rule for me in life since uh things start working for me uh do more what's working so uh, and since uh, all of my students and all the audience which is, has been around me was a beginners uh we were focusing on helping beginners to find their winners to scale those winners and uh just manage the stores for them now it's become it became much harder with ios with everything else so we have a couple of established businesses with us and we would like to scale on that way more i mean to to manage more sca- stable businesses because we know how to scale and it's, it's super scalable when you have trusted audience you have trusted business with you and we are good on it we have uh, our thing which is called an ecosystem uh, where uh, person after is 14 uh, happens we create the package which is called an ecosystem where is established brand, uh, brand coming to us and we implement in google after that we add in tiktok we had an SMS email marketing, where is all the profitable part it started. And uh, well, if it's necessary, which is usually it's necessary, it's a uh, Google shopping for the retargeting for the simple, like uh, uh, most winning attractive uh, products. So like, but this gives us when Facebook has a bug, has a problems, TikTok giving us quite a bit and especially email and sms marketing giving us great because we have a uh, guys who are doing great sms and email campaigns which is giving us extra uh from 18 to 26 percent on the uh revenue which is no ad spend so everything is uh, high profitable and is give us uh, at the end over 20 percent profitability uh only from that campaigns uh, with the all the others uh, like sometimes facebook is giving us break even sometimes it's giving us five ten percent profitability but you know if you are in the e-commerce for a while you're understanding that on the front end you could be on break even or even lose money yeah. but on the back end if the ecosystem is uh, built correct you are making all your profits and this is what's yeah. really attract uh, people who are working with us but the majority of the, our clients is the beginners for shopify automation that's what was working from the beginning and we continue doing that so people who like amazon automation but on shopify platform we uh, we have a team of the fulfillment uh we have a team members who taking care of the customer service for our clients media buying like in total it's over 40 people at the moment so we are quite big and growing and uh, yeah the, this is what two thing two kind of clients which we are focusing but the major goal is to have more brands than Shopify automations. But in the same time, we see that it's like perfectly working all together. Huh. And totally, that was amazing. That was a <laughs> lot of information. I really appreciate having you on the show. Um, I obviously don't want to take up too much more of your time. I would love for you to take the opportunity, let everyone know where they can find out more about you and obviously more about Golden Stream Media. Yeah, of course, I appreciate that. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm more than active all the time on Ecom by Anatoly Instagram. It's my uh, main Instagram page, Ecom by Anatoly, or Golden Stream Media, uh, our Instagram f- uh, f- page for the company, and our YouTube channel where we like start recording a lot of uh, valuable information, valuable videos on the YouTube, which is called Anatoly Wabinski. You can find it. Like we just start growing. It's first thousand subscribers as for now uh they are so yeah like more than welcome to chat with the guys and let's see if we can help them it's not evo- about you and i'm trying to sell something i'm just the person who learn on my fails and helping everyone else to overtake those fails in more smooth way because the fails in the this kind of business like in any kind of business are always always exist and this is exactly what we are focusing to help make this uh, this kind of journey on the smooth way and building from the drop shipping business small brands which they can scale and after that exist by selling that brand uh on the marketplaces 
So yeah, I really, uh, Andrew, appreciate for yeah. your attention, and uh, that's really was cool. Yeah, appreciate having you on the show. Thank you so much for being on it. Obviously, everyone that tuned in, thank you as well for tuning in. Make sure that you rate, review, subscribe, all that fun stuff on whichever channel you prefer, or just head over to uh, our YouTube or ecomshow.com. But as usual, thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you all next time. Have a good one. Thank you for tuning in to the Ecom Show. Head over to ecomshow.com to subscribe on your favorite podcast platform or on the Blue Tusker YouTube channel. The Ecom Show is brought to you by Blue Tusker, a full-service digital marketing company specifically for e-commerce sellers looking to accelerate their growth. Go to bluetusker.com now for more information. Make sure to tune in next week for another amazing episode of The Ecom Show.